Hey there, fellow art lovers. Welcome back to Hungry Art Critic, your favorite channel for all things art related. In today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating world of a groundbreaking French artist, Gustave Courbet. Gustave Courbet was born in 1819 in France and became one of the most important figures in the realist movement. He was known for his raw and unfiltered portrayal of everyday life and the people around him, breaking away from the traditional, idealized art of his time. One of Courbet's most famous paintings is, The Stone Breakers, 1850, which depicts two laborers breaking stones on the side of a road. This painting reflects Courbet's commitment to representing the reality of working-class life, without any romanticism or glorification. Another groundbreaking work is, A Burial at Ornans, 1849-1850, a large-scale painting that portrays a simple funeral in his hometown. Courbet's decision to depict such an ordinary event on a large canvas was revolutionary, as this format was traditionally reserved for grand historical or religious scenes. Now, let's discuss one of Courbet's most controversial and provocative works, The Origin of the World, 1866. This painting features a close-up view of a woman's naked body, boldly challenging the norms of 19th-century art. While it might be shocking, it's also an important testament to Courbet's commitment to portraying life as it truly is. In The Painter's Studio, 1855, Courbet shows us a glimpse into his own world as an artist. This large-scale painting is an allegory of his life and artistic principles, featuring various characters that symbolize different aspects of society and the art world. Gustave Courbet was not only known for his paintings but also for his independent spirit and defiance of artistic conventions. He even set up his own pavilion, the Pavilion du Realism, to showcase his work during the 1855 Paris World's Fair when his paintings were rejected by the official exhibition. Courbet's artistry wasn't limited to depicting people and society, he was also a master of landscape painting. In works like, The Wave, 1869, he captures the raw power and beauty of nature, evoking a sense of awe and wonder in the viewer. Another example of Courbet's skill in capturing nature is, The Trout, 1871, where he beautifully renders a fish caught on a line. The attention to detail and realism in this painting showcases Courbet's commitment to depicting the world as it truly is. Courbet's influence extended far beyond his own work, inspiring a new generation of artists who sought to capture the world around them with honesty and integrity. His boldness and commitment to realism laid the groundwork for future movements like Impressionism and modern art. So, that was a brief journey through the fascinating life and art of Gustave Courbet. I hope you enjoyed learning about this incredible artist and his groundbreaking approach to capturing the world around him. If you ever have the chance to visit a museum or gallery that features Courbet's work, I highly recommend taking the time to appreciate the details and raw emotion in his paintings. It's an experience that will undoubtedly leave a lasting impression. As always, I love hearing your thoughts on the artists we discuss, so feel free to leave a comment below sharing your impressions of Courbet's work or any other artists you'd like to see featured on Hungry Art Critic. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more art explorations.